Yes, guys, what is happening? Welcome back to the Straight Talk Podcast. What is happening, guys? Welcome back. So, we have just opened up channel membership. So, if you want to indulge deeper into our channel, link is in the description for memberships where you will receive extra special content, uh, perks, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so, if you want to get involved, uh, 4 99 a month. We really appreciate that support. Like we do anyway, but um, yeah. Indeed. Now, we're going to get into it with the student keeps triggering Piers Morgan. This is a fiery debate. Four left students. You don't get along with him very much, no, normally they're all vegans so, yeah. and stuff like that. So, without any further ado, guys, we're going to get our reaction, just our thoughts, whether they're right or wrong. Let's go. go. I mean, it used to be a place that our bright young minds would go to to expand those minds, to be challenged, to take risks, to take part in rigorous debate with people who may implacably disagree with them, and then maybe reach a point of consensus and go and have a beer together, have some fun. That was what universities used to be about. But look at what they've become. They've become these cotton wool bubble wrapped hellholes where the enemy is free speech, where there's a charge for safe spaces, where everyone gets triggered. What does that even mean to be triggered by something you might read or hear? Mm. Certainly my generation doesn't understand what that means. So what is going on at our universities? Well, a shocking new report by the Higher Education Policy Institute, HEPI, revealed a dramatic and disturbing surge in support for censorship by students, safe spaces, protection from alternate viewpoints. This is all among young students. And of the thousand who were surveyed, nearly two thirds of them, 61%, were opposed to unlimited free speech compared with just 37% in the exact same survey in 2016. 17% 17% only said they supported ensuring unlimited free speech on campus, although offence may occasionally be allowed. And a staggering 86% of them endorsed the use of trigger warnings so they can be protected from coursework that might upset them. More than a third... It's a university. They're supposed to be triggers everywhere. It's the whole point. Go to, there to learn. Argue your ideas with other people and see whether you're right or whether you're wrong. It's crazy people to think People think they're that, just there to party or something. No, the DNR to fucking tiptoe on everybody, party, yeah, of course, but also not be offended. That is the place to be offended. It's a university. You're meant to understand other people's point of views. You're meant to sometimes be right and you're meant to sometimes be wrong. It's the whole point. Yeah, definitely. Students believe their teachers should be fired for exposing them to any material they find offensive, which is double the number. In 2016, 39% believe the student union should ban all speakers who might cause offence, and 76% want universities to get rid of any statues or memorials to historical figures they find problematic, which, of course, by their yardstick, is now pretty much everybody. Mm. You might remember the scenes in the BLM protests in 2020 in Parliament Square, where, where statues of Winston Churchill, Nelson Mandela, and Mahatma Gandhi all had to be boarded up. We've been through this before, haven't we, with Winston Churchill? Indeed we have. We weigh him up in his totality. Which is more the good things he did wrong. Yeah, the, the pendulum swings for the good instead of the bad, although he did do some bad as well. Yep. We still look at him as a great man, and we're in this fortunate position because of him. Yeah, So. Indeed. the mob come from them? So, my view is, this is all completely nuts. I'm joined now by Larissa Kennedy, the president of the National Union of Students, who presumably, oh, good, good evening to you, by the way. Good evening. I know you've had a tough me. journey from Croydon. <laughs> uh, every, jo- every journey from Croydon is tough, right? Look, I had to I say that joke with Susanna Reid. Um, <laughs> you're free, you wish you were at the same school with Susanna Reid. I did indeed. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll take that as a warning, <laughs> a, a trigger warning. Look, this report to me was incredibly damaging. You're representing the National Union of Students. What's going on at our universities? Why have you all become the enemy of free speech? Why do you all get triggered by everything? Why have you all become such snowflakes? Interesting that you want to position students as enemies of free speech when it's the very opposite. In fact, this report shows that so many students are welcoming the idea of a free speech champion, but also are welcoming the idea that we can hold multiple truths, that yes, we have to uphold truth. Yeah, you're trying to get yeah, you're trying to get teachers fired for sharing an opinion. Yeah. If if um, everyone got fired for sharing an opinion that offended somebody, no one would ever talk because everyone's offended by different things. And she just said they're trying to hold multiple truths as well. Multiple, but what is that? 
you know, it, it's true that it's not raining, but it's also true that it is raining. I don't... I, what... I, explain this to me because I've gone through life just knowing that truth is truth there's only one truth and then there's only one false mm. uh, sorry there's, there's, there's more than one false um, but there's only one truth so I don't understand this multiple truths are truth I, bl- I blame Ari and Megan Mark, Ari, Ari and Megan because I'd never heard that my truth until that bullshit come out of her mouth about Five years ago, six years ago, yeah, something. Yeah, my truth ain't the truth, though. Yeah. Your, your truth ain't the truth. The truth's just the truth. She's coined that shit and made it popular. It's bullshit, man. Yeah, that's... Freedom of speech. But we also need to put in place protections to make sure that our campuses are a safe space for the evolving people. Who what does, that, what does that mean? And if you want to ask what that means, it means that when you've got someone who has views that are obviously going to spark outrage, mm. that you give a heads up to the people coming. These are common sense uh, kind of things that students are talking about. You? And in fact, if I may finish my you point, may. when you talk to people in local communities, when you talk to ordinary people and you talk about the real realities of these measures that students are suggesting, mm. like giving a heads up to people or like, um, you know, ha- helping facilitate protests and so on, people on the ground agree that these are just common sense things to avoid any... I don't know who you're talking to, but they don't. Most I don't know who you're think, talking to. Most is. people think this oh. is completely crackers. Someone what? came with an attitude. Mm. Crackers. Well, let me go yeah, through. Let me go through. Crackers. What do you need trigger warnings for about stuff you may read or stuff a professor may say? Why do you need trigger warnings? I mean, what happens? You literally have this this sound. Think- you know what that tells me, bro? How soft world is. Oh, how soft this world is. You need a trigger warning because he says something that might offend you a teeny tiny bit. Trigger warning. So sad, Do they good at pub on a Friday night and Saturday night? Imagine if they came to a pub in England. They'd I, only... I, I, have they played five side football with lads before? <laughs> yeah. they fucking know the score already. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Have they got brothers and sisters? I'm gonna say, surely they've just. It's like they've been brought up in a fairy cake world. It's, it, yeah, but it is though. Like you know, a lot of these uni kids that that you do come across, and I've come across plenty, so I've got that experience. The fucking fairies, bro. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Literally, the fairies. They couldn't deal with having a good scutch around face and a slap, telling them to man up if they had to. You see them all. Do you know what I mean? They they, they are true fairies, bro. Like, and I've met my fair share. I'm not saying all uni kids are like that, because they're not. There's some tough uni lads out there and some tough uni girls that can hold their own shit that won't get offended by none of this rubbish. But there's also a lot of them that are flipping just Walk snowflakes. Left. Do you know what I mean? That are, that, oh. Just gone. They're gone. Gone. This is a pretty reductive. Redu- obviously, then. you don't do that. I think Straight what we're up. seeing here is actually what the report warns about. It's people like you who are creating these kind of inflammatory, like inflammatory headlines and responses to what is a pretty. I've just read the report. Issue. No, no, no. You've I've said that there's going to be a report. sound, the sound played out in classrooms. That's not what's happening no, that in was universities. A, look, that was, if it was a joke, it wasn't very funny. That was a joke. You may not find my humour funny. But it was intended as a joke. Okay. However, I do not part. understand mm. the concept of a trigger warning mm. for something you may read or hear at university. The whole point of university is to be challenged. It's to be critical. And in fact, it's no, students, to be challenged. Who are, it's students who are... No, it's about learning... Straight, isn't it? The whole point I'm going to... Is for, the whole point in going is for people to challenge your opinion and tell you what's the truth. I think so. Not what my truth is, because yeah. my truth don't matter. You know, if you're actually trying to learn something, then you you have to have these open debates, and you mm. might have to get offended. But that's just how it is. If you want to learn, then there's uh, there's prices you pay. Yep, totally agree with. And it's a big ass check from the unit. Have to be critical of the it things that you all. see. And I know pay- that's the thing, and all you're paying all this money to go to university for and what? I'm listening to people are telling to you like, to, to get offended by being challenged. It's crazy, isn't it? and absorb around you and in fact it's students who are and standing tolerant. up and, and the free purpose speech. of an education is not to produce tolerance. here's what Ricky Gervais said about free speech and tell me if you think he's wrong if you don't believe in free speech with people who you disagree with and even hate for what they stand for then you don't believe in free speech no you don't but if you don't believe that freedom of speech has the legal limitations that it has always had in democratic countries when it comes to the equalities act and other forms of limits that have been always put on freedom of speech and you like the, uh, the the keep the, the keep uh, the keep adjusting the democratic free speech line, though, that's the problem. Like, you you were allowed 10 years ago to say that a man cannot be a woman. Now and you get arrested for it. Now you get arrested. 
or you you know you're not a, you, you might be a, you might consider yourself a trans woman but to me you're a man that were free speech 10 years ago now it's a, a crime remain. so it's like you keep adjusting it. it keeps evolving this line of free speech continually keeps evolving and keeps getting tighter and tighter on those that actually do believe in true free speech yeah so don't believe in freedom of speech. You believe in freedom from consequence, and those are different things. I don't. I think. I think you should be absolutely held to the fire. There should be consequences to what you say, and you should be challenged, and there should be debate. What I can't get my head around is that eighty-six percent of students now want trigger warnings on course content, which might upset students. All we're really saying here is that it's going to note what's in the course. That's, no, what? that's what? called a bibliography. What would you find too painful? Are you against bibliography? What would you are find you, to, Are you against bibliography? What would you find too... Are you against... Let me ask you. Let me ask, kind you. Of, let me ask you. What would you find too triggering to read? Give like me, uh, the uni version of Imam. Uh, Example. I can't give you a personal example because it's not my personal opinion. This is students who are just saying... Tell me what I'm. Tell me what's on the course. That's what a course list is. That's what mm. a book list is. That's what a bibliography is. It's not a big deal. And the fact that you're making it into a big deal is exactly what it says in the uh, report. What is a big you deal? You have bad faith actors. If I may continue, you, you have bad yes. faith actors um, who are stirring up division around this. When so many organisations, most of whom usually disagree, are saying this is a non-issue. And then you have to ask the question: Why do we have so much airtime on this? Why do we have so many people pouring money mm. and resources, particularly so our government is talking about this? And when you see it in the context of the policing bill of all of the other bills that are coming through that are incredibly draconian, mm. you have to ask the question, who is benefiting from this conversation? Because it's not students. Oh, because students are welcoming freedom of speech, and that's exactly what this report says. It said they welcome well, no, it actually says the complete, It actually says the complete opposite. It <laughs> says that if you read it that way, of course it does. If no, you no. Read the Daily Mail's report. It was literally... It, actually, course. I read it in the Times. There was the exact, <laughs> Okay, there was the exact same survey done six years ago. Same questions... And they publish the results. It shows, it shows a massive increase in the number of students who want to censor it's not free censorship. Speech. It's about it holding is. multiple truths and the fact that well, we've, we've, we've got such a reductionist, hang on, hang on, hang such on. A reductionist hang diluted on. conversation hang around on. freedom of speech. Hang on. But even Larissa, when you're saying Larissa, if what, I can, I can what, never finish it. What what was the point of asking me on? Listen, because I wanted to hear your view. <laughs> so please let me share the but view. But if you say something, let me share the view. Let the I know you're not view. used to debating at universities these days. <laughs> hear the view. Let the people hear the view. I don't want to see your fucking, your treff. I mean, debating. Clearly, you're not used to debating. You're obviously used, used to, just, it, you're obviously it, used it, to it, just saying well, what you want to say, and no one's allowed to challenge you. I'm that is not what happens at universities. I'll that for free. Well, it, actually, we know that's what's happening at universities. And when was point, the last time you went to university, Piers? Uh, when was the last time you were a student? I was a student when I was uh, 19. Oh, how old are you? That was a long time ago. That is oh, a long been, time you've ago. You've been ages. Can I say that? You've been ages. No, I'm just saying. Wow. It, that's a fact. I'm it triggered. was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> so you not, no, can you not I mean, be, you're the snowflake no, here. Can you not be ages? You're the snowflake here. Can you not be ages? All I'm saying is, how can you know what's going on? She's got, she has she's got a point. In, though. She has got a point, though. I, I can Piers personally know. He's only he, he, like his experience in university has gone. It was it was forty years ago. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but she's not about the offending people and stuff. But she's kind of just offended him, like. You know, the, the double standard. Well, according to university rules, probably, yeah. That's I'm just you, reading this report. You're reading a report that says that students welcome a freedom of speech. This is higher education you're reading a policy report that says that students want to make sure that, yes, there is freedom of speech, but also that we're enabling support for students okay. um, who... Can you I know, ask a question? Campus is a student's Can I ask a question? Um, well, you, you, they're just reading from... From what's been detailed, so she's saying one thing on it, and he's saying another thing. She's saying it's still got freedom of speech. I do think that you should be allowed to be, you should be aware of what is on the course before you actually, you know, do the course. Like I don't, I don't see any harm in finding out what 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 details are in the course after they joined it. No, before. Oh, okay. So then you can make that decision. Like if if you join it like a sex education course, just for example, and perhaps someone to talk about. Uh, trans the trans debate. You should be aware of that trans debate before you enter into that course. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because there, there are. But well, you need to know the details of the. Yeah, and and if that's spoken. what she's saying is is led to be true, then that's fair enough. But Piers is obviously stirring pot a little bit.